legislature now where lawmakers advance a bill that aims to keep pornographic material away from children. It would require age verification in order to access certain websites. But as KETV Newswatch 7's Maddie Augustine reports, an Omaha tech group questions how effective that would be. Maddie. Senator Dave Merman tells me he feels great with the progress of LB 1092 and says it's one step closer to protecting minors. But Smart Gen Society says the bill provides a false sense of protection. Many times age verification is just not an effective way to protect minors um, and content. LB 1092 or the Online Age Verification Liability Act would require everyone to provide proof they're 18 years or older to access material on a pornographic website. This is just another tool that parents can use to uh, increase the probability at least that their their uh, children won't access porn by accident. But the bill fails to state specifically how. There really isn't a way that this bill um, states of they should verify age and then scrub any kind of verification they have. The bill's sponsor, Senator Dave Merman, says there are several ways to go about requiring the age verification, including a digital copy of state ID or utilizing third-party sites like Age Checker. And after Wednesday's floor debate, he says he's adding to the bill to help protect personal information. We want to just be, you know, have as many layers of protection as possible. Amy Konowinski, founder and CEO of Smart Gen Society, says this bill leaves too much up for personal interpretation. It has really no teeth for the, um, the government to uphold it. That means you're not going to get law enforcement executing it. It's going to be something that can um, really clog up the judicial system. And only encourages minors to become riskier and more secretive with their online activities. Really what we want at Smart Gen Society is to make sure we're opening up lines of communication between parents and students. And bills like this actually shut down the communication. Senator Merman points to the success of similar laws in other states. If they can do it in those states, they can do it here. Merman acknowledged this bill is not going to stop minors from accessing porn on the internet fully, but he says it will make it more difficult to access and for accidental exposure to occur. Konwinski believes something needs to be done to protect children, but the only way age verification requirements will have success is if it comes from the federal level. LB 1092 will now go to the second round for debate. Maddie Augustine, KETV Newswatch 7.